Hey, so Framer just released a new feature around localization today, which essentially means that you can now support multiple languages on your Framer site, uh, which is awesome. There's also AI involved, so you can automatically translate all the strings. Um, and it's just like a super easy and intuitive way to manage all of it. Um, so big win. Uh, however, the UI component, like for the actual language selector, isn't super customizable out of the box, but we can change that. I'm gonna show you how to fully customize it. Cool? And just to show you what we're going to be building, I have this super simple landing page and the custom toggle here at the top with a hover state and also a different active state to actually show a flag beside each language. Okay, so to get started, um, I have my locales set up already. I have French and I have Spanish here. Um, all the text strings are already translated with AI. So to set up this base component, I've essentially started with two states, just the landing and the hover states uh, set up as different variants. Um, and then in here, I have uh, a little animation with this, uh, these two icons kind of coming down as you hover. But what's important here is the flag set up. This is the emoji component, but I have the flag um, variable set up to feed to the component above, as well as the English text set up as the language to feed to the component above it. Um, so when I click on this component here, um, basically these are going to be the languages that um, you can talk between. Before I do that, I'm going to insert the locale selector, and I'm actually just going to use this as a trigger. Um, so I'm just going to remove um, basically all the attributes here to make sure that nothing's actually visible. And then I'll set it inside this component, and I'll set the position to absolute, or the type to absolute, and then the, the height and width to 100%. So now it's covering the entire button and I'll set the Z index to two to make sure that it's sitting at the top. So it always triggers it. Um, and then I'm going to make the hover state and then I'm just going to click on that uh, base component and just change the variant to the hover state. So now I can just duplicate these um, variants for each language. Just do FR and ES. Um, make the hover states. Cool, so it looks good. And then on the home screen, I can basically just set these variants. So I'll default to English, and then I'm gonna set the variable based on the locale. So I'll convert the option. Um, so it's English, so it's English, fallback will be English. Um, French, set that far. And then Spanish, set to Spanish. So yeah, we're done, it was quick, that was easy. It's working. Um, and since I set up my colors to be styles with dark mode colors, Dark mode also works right away. So yeah, uh, remix link is in the description. Have fun.